Hello people, welcome back. The question is from gate 2006 exam. It is for two marks. Read the statement. It says, a subnetted class B network has the following broadcast address 144.16.95.255. Its subnet mask is. Now we are given the broadcast address of some class B network and we need to find its subnet mask. See. Because it is a class B network, that means first two octets are surely the network ID. Okay. So this part is surely the network ID. And because we have subnetted it, that means we have created some subnets. So this means that we have extended this network ID. Okay. Some bits are borrowed from host ID part. And they can be considered as the subnet ID. Okay. So this network ID extends beyond these two octets also. Till which point the bits are borrowed, we don't know it yet. Okay. So currently we don't know what is till what part is the network ID and from where host ID begins. Now they are saying this address is the broadcast address of the network. Okay. It is not the network address. It is the broadcast address of some network. Now, what is special about broadcast address? In broadcast address, all the host ID bits will be one. Okay. So, prima facie, it seems that this part will be the host ID. Because first thing is host ID will be on the right hand side. Second thing is because it is a broadcast address, all the bits must be high. So, all of these bits are continuous and are on right side and they are high. So it might seem as if this is the host ID. Okay. If this is the host ID, that means these three bits, okay, 0, 1, 0, they have been borrowed now and they are now the part of network ID. Okay. According to this scenario, let us find out what will be the subnet mask. For network ID, place all ones. Okay. See, first two octets are all ones and then these three bits are ones because all of this is network ID. Then for host ID, I have written zeros. This is the subnet mask if these are the host ID bits. Okay, some of you might think that this is the answer and you will get option A. Okay, some of you might take option A as the correct answer. But there is a small flaw in our approach. See, the thing is, all the host ID bits need to be one. They need to be on right hand side and they must be continuous. Okay. According to these conditions, host ID can be this much also. Okay. These all bits are on right hand side. They are all ones because it is a broadcast address. So these all bits must be one. And they are continuous also. So this can also be the case. That means we don't know the exact boundary where these network ID bits end and where the host ID bits start. So we cannot ever fix that this will be the subnet mask. Okay. So that means all the options that have this word necessarily will be incorrect. Okay. So they are saying this one will surely be the answer. It is incorrect. Similarly, option B is incorrect, option C is incorrect because they are fixing that this one will be the subnet mask. But from the given conditions, we don't know what will be the subnet mask. There could be many subnet masks. Any one of them could be the correct one. Okay. But one thing that we can surely say is host ID bits, they can be till this point only. Okay. Host ID cannot go beyond this point. How can I say it? Because in host ID we need all ones. But this bit, it is zero. Okay. That means it can never be the part of host ID. So any bit to the left of this zero will never be the part of host ID because host ID needs to be continuous. So these bits could possibly be the host ID, but we don't know from where the host ID starts. Okay. It can start from here also like this. It could start from anywhere. So let us see what is the answer. Okay. For this one, it will be 255 dot 255. 
डॉट दिस इज वन ट्वेंटी एट प्लस सिक्सटी फोर इज वन नाइनटी टू एंड प्लस थर्टी टू इज टू ट्वेंटी फोर ओके दिस इज डॉट टू ट्वेंटी फोर एंड ऑल ऑफ दीज आर जीरो दे आर कंसिडर्ड एंड ऑल ऑफ दीज आर जीरो मीन्स डॉट जीरो ओके इफ दिस इज द केस देन दिस वन विल बी द आंसर ओके बट इफ होस्ट आई डी इज स्टिल हेयर दैट मीन्स दिस वन इज ऑल्सो द पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क आई डी देन वॉट विल बी द आंसर इट विल बी टू फिफ्टी फाइव डॉट टू फिफ्टी फाइव डॉट टू फोर्टी डॉट जीरो बिकॉज फॉर दैट केस वी विल हैव अ वन हेयर ऑल्सो ओके this could also be possible that host id is tell here in that case the answer will be dot 248 248 dot 0 okay so 255 255 248 zero this could also be possible that we have host id tell here only so Network ID is this much. That means one, two, three, four, five, six. Six bits from this will be one. Okay, so four, five, and six like this. Okay, what is this number? It will be two fifty-two. Okay, so dot two fifty-two dot zero. Okay, and so on. Host ID can be sorry. The subnet mask can be dot two fifty. Four dot zero, dot two fifty five dot zero, and then dot two fifty five dot one twenty eight. Okay, how did I get this one twenty eight? This could be possible that host ID is this much. Okay, and all of these bits are in network ID. See, there is no compulsion that network ID cannot end with ones. Okay, so network ID can have some n ones in its ending so this one this one can also be the network id okay so now let us see what is the answer first three options are incorrect that means option d will be the answer they are saying could be any one of these three so 224 240 248 okay these are present in the possible values so option d is the answer now please note that they are not saying could be any one of these three only if they said any one of these three only then option d would have been incorrect but they are saying these the subnet mask could be possibly any one of these three okay and moreover because first three options are incorrect this one has to be the answer so don't over complicate it they haven't mentioned all the possibilities they have mentioned only a few okay anyways option d is the answer thank you very much for watching this video have a good day